Hey, I'm Scott and I am an American in Pattaya. I am in Pattaya for a few days, but in the near future, I'll be back in Bangkok. Uh, you know, Pattaya is a tourist trap. It's not for me. It's good for a couple of days max. Too many people, too much congestion, too much traffic, too much... Uh, please come inside. Hello, handsome man. You go with me, etc. It's just too much. Uh, it might be good for some, and that's, that's fine. Different cities for different people, different strokes for different folks. Uh, it's definitely good for men who come here and they just want to have some fun, relax, get drunk, get laid, whatever. That said, I have an associate and he's been in Thailand for about a week. Uh, he's been in Bangkok for a few days. He's been in Pattaya for a few days and he's a nice guy, a bit naive when it comes to women but he is a nice guy. You know, his, he has good intentions. He doesn't exactly land women back in the States. Uh, I would even go so far to say he may have a adversarial relationship with women back in the US. But so Thailand is a nice change for him and he's been going out and when he hits these places, the red light districts, He's like a kid in a candy store. He's having a grand old time. Now, he's been in Pattaya for four or five days and I just found out he has now found a good woman. She's supposedly a good woman. A good woman, but a, a woman for hire, nevertheless. So I'm sorry to say that in almost all cases, I hate to say this, but it's unacceptable. It's just unacceptable. You do what you want. Don't listen to me, listen to me. Whatever you want to do, it really just doesn't matter to me. You do what you want to do. Uh, you have your fun and pay your way. But really this idea of a relationship and her idea of a relationship, your idea, her idea are probably not aligned and it's just not a good idea. Uh, Yes, generally, it's not a good idea. Every once in a while, yes, it'll work out. But I'm just saying, it's probably not a good idea. Many men come to Thailand, especially Pattaya, and they lose all concept of any semblance of standards. They lose their concept of standards. In other words, the little head takes over and does the thinking. How they would act with a woman, say, back in the States. I understand that things are different, but how they uh, go about getting into a relationship and thinking about a relationship is different from how they feel here in Thailand. Uh, and I would say, think about it this way. First of all, this is pay for, for play. You pay for it. You could say you pay for it one way or... You pay for it one way or another. You're not paying for a pseudo relationship here. You don't wanna pay for that. You're not paying for her to fall in love with you. You're paying to have a good time and go on your merry way. And think of it this way. Every dog you pet, you don't adopt. You're not adopting a child and taking care of them for the rest of your life. You're renting on a short term basis. There are plenty of extremely intelligent men who travel abroad for women, guys who are smarter than the average bear, definitely. Guys who run businesses, guys who have lots of money. But book smarts and street smarts are different from relationship smarts and common sense. Common sense goes out the window for some reason. Also, some men want girls to like them. And does it really matter? It's nice if they do, but you shouldn't concern yourself with women liking you. I don't care if it's women in Pattaya or women anywhere. 
You are who you are. Be a decent person. And if she doesn't like you, oh well. Move on down the road, on to the next. Now, do I understand old men here in Pattaya want to have their way with young women? Yes, of course. Do I understand they want companionship? Yes, of course. So it's not that I don't understand, but it's almost like it's a trap. It's almost like getting into a relationship. Whatever type of relationship it might be, is it, it really is totally unacceptable and is nothing but a facade. It's not, hey, I went to Patia for two weeks or three weeks, I met a girl and I'm flying her back over to my home country. That's not what's supposed to happen. You come to Bangkok, you have a good time. I, you know, you don't have to be with women, you can be with women, whatever you want. You come over here, you have a good time, and then you go on your merry way. Life goes back to normal. When you come over here, life stops. That's the thing. It doesn't matter if it's Pattaya, Bangkok, wherever it is. Life kind of stops. You're in a different world, wow. But you still need to remember. Stay grounded in reality. You find yourself thinking, I really like this girl, she's great. And oh my God, what a body. Oh, she's so good in bed. You stay with her for a month. And then one day it dawns on you, she's not that great and the honeymoon is over. But you got her, you're with her, you're like, eh, you know, let's see how it goes. You're in, you're in deep. You got hooked. And then you're like, okay, baby, okay, baby, I'll send you money. I'll do whatever I have to do to make you happy. It's ridiculous, really, but okay, let's just go on. And, and back to my friend, how on earth can anyone in his right mind hook up with a chick for a couple of days? A pay for play chick, no less, and think she's his girl. She is not his girlfriend, it's simply his turn. I don't know how, I don't know any other way to put it. As long as he's willing and able to continue to do business, she will remain. And maybe this is okay, maybe it's not. If he wants to stop doing business, chances are she's gone, that's it. And for some men, that's okay, they don't mind. And that's fine. But for some, they get way too deep and they think, oh my God, I've got the girl of my dreams. It just doesn't work that way. So if you respect her doing sex work, marry her and watch her keep working, it won't work. Remember these words and remember them well. Do not get emotionally involved with a bar girl. Your involvement with a bar girl is a business relationship and you need to keep it that way, as simply as that. Uh, listen, do me a favor, uh, click the like button, click subscribe, look in the description, you'll find a host of ways to support the channel, super thanks. Cash App, Buy Me A Coffee, Patreon, or just keep watching, that's fine. Um, if you require assistance when coming to Thailand, please let me know. I've been here for 29 years, and whether you need help with a visa, transferring money, buying a condo, or perhaps you need help with your Thai woman, you need help figuring out a relationship, you can contact me at an American in Bangkok at gmail.com and we will work something out. That's all I have. I'm Scott. I'm an American in Patia, soon to be an American in Bangkok. 
Choke the Leo Jerkan Mai, which means good luck and see you later.